So I was working on one of my personal projects and I decided to um, show a sign in and sign up preview or how I was kind of setting this up since I'm always practicing things. But the UI positioning I have for everything on that scene is change the X position of the center of that particular object um, and set to scene window width divided by two. So everything that I wanted to be centered in that scene, I divided it by two, which would be the email text entry object, the password text entry object, um, the notice, which you cannot see because it's hidden, and the I forgot my password link. The sign in and sign up are not set to those same um, actions because they have their different positions, but everything else is scene window width divided by two. Now, when the user clicks on the sign in button, connect to the account with an email and password. And it's going to use those fields that they put their credentials in and store it in a variable if you choose. It's going to check the authentication and wait one second. If the email of the user is not verified, wait one second, show the notice, change the text to sign in failed, please try again. Make sure that the base color of the text is set to red, wait two seconds, and then hide the notice. If the email is verified, then you wait one second, show the notice, change the text to sign in success, set the base color to green, wait two seconds, and then hide the notice. Um, I have the text of the global variable also logged in to make sure that everything is, you know, seamless. Um, then you can wait a certain amount of seconds and before you go to the next scene. Now my sign up text and being focused that is incorrect with the naming it's supposed to be forgot password i don't know why i named it sign up text but I kind of forget that um so but if the sign up button is pressed it's supposed to do a particular thing as you can see the sign up button is here so the sign up button is pressed you wait one second and it changes to the sign up scene or really just adds the username field and if i go to preview this going to do a quick preview you'll see that everything is there including the text entry object field and the password so i'm going to enter a random pass i mean enter random email i like donuts at yahoo.com because donuts are cool and so i'm going to enter a password i'm going to try to sign in and it's going to say sign in failed please try again so i'm automatically denied um, thanks to the firebase security um, so it won't let me get through um, so i have no option but to sign up so if I click on sign up, the username field will appear. I can enter my username, email address, and password into the appropriate um, fields. And it can be any username that you want, obviously, but I think I have a character limit. But I'm for this username, I'm gonna call myself Sailor Vegeta 77 And then I'm going to create a, or use a um, fake email address I have for this purpose, and then create a random password. And then once I do that, I'm going to hit the create an account button. And it should let me know that the account was created if my events and actions are correct. So it says account created successfully, account verification sent to email. I need to darken that so it can be easier to see. Um, but what's gonna happen is once that happens, it's gonna send that verification email. And then once the user verifies that email, they will be able to log in using the credentials that they created. So if I go in and start putting in the email address that I created and the password, and then I go to sign in, it will say sign in success, and then it will let me in, and then it will say, hey there, and it says my username, what will you review today? And that's pretty much it, how I have that set up. Um, so based on what I how I have the variable set up, it's going to pull that name, username from Firebase, so whatever that, you know, person's name is, is going to say whatever it's supposed to be. And so you can see the sign up screen is pretty much the same thing. The positioning use, is using the same actions and um, everything is set up to how I want it to be seen when the width times, not times, excuse me, divided by two. However, the sign up section where I enter the text, they all have character limits. So the string length of a particular text entry field should, no, should be no more than 50. If it is more than 50, then disable it. And then you change the text to email must be less than 50 characters. You show the notice, wait two seconds, and then set the text of the email field to double quotation mark, which actually just resets it to blank. 
And then I did the same thing for password and username. So password can be no longer than 30 characters. And username is a little bit wrong here because uh, that's right for the conditions, but I have the text wrong for the action. So it's supposed to be username should be um, less than 15 characters. Now below that I have the um, character length conditions. If the character links are met for um, username, email, and password, and the sign in is pressed, then create an account with that email and password using um, the variables, scene variables that I created. And you can store the result in the other variable called status. But the user ID is set to the Firebase user ID and the change the text of the scene variable is set to the email that they entered and change the text of a scene variable username is set to the username that they entered. So you show the notice and the notice, the text is changed to account created successful and then the color is set to green and then it sends a verification email, waits one second and then says account verification sent to email. And all of those things that I put in variables, I write them to Firebase um, and create the fields and everything. And then once that happens, they'll go back to the sign in screen, which you saw at the bottom. And then when they verify the email, that's when they'll be able to log in. So that's pretty much it for this. So until next time, that is it for my preview of the sign in and the sign up screen.